today from Memphis, Tennessee. It's week three of the NFL on EA Sports. Memphis Egyptians taking on Derek Carr and the Portland Lumberjacks. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle with their opponents. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get... The final weekend of the summer. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are as we are off and running on EA Sports. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by a first-round pick in the 2020 draft out of Utah State. This is Jordan Love. And he's off to a fantastic start to the season. Already eight touchdown passes in just his first two weeks of the year. Now, I don't think that's a pace he's going to be able to sustain, but at the very least, He's got this offense humming here to start things out. They'll roll him out right. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Four now. Here's first and ten. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. The rushing numbers last week for Cohen. 24 carries, 110 yards in the score. And the way they ran the ball last week's game has to be satisfying to their entire staff because they're seeing not just a back gain big yardage, but they're seeing an offensive line really in sync. Second and inches. Love. And he hits his target, Deshaun Hamilton. A little juke. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Brought me to jump in on you, partner, but they didn't waste any time getting downfield, did they? I mean, a nice big play there. Three plays, three successful plays in plus territory. Now this defense on its heels a bit. It seems like they had something targeted there, doesn't it? It's like, okay, we've got a matchup we like coming right out of the gate. Let's go ahead and get right to it. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Out of the gun, running with Cohen. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. On the handoff, it's Cohen. It'll be a five-yard pickup there. So from second and 13, they're back to a more manageable third and eight. Love now. Well, the pressure gets to Love, and he'll go down. And the defense coming through on third down, a loss of seven to bring up fourth. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. 
defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And yeah, this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. So out comes the offense now with a long field ahead of them. They're led out by their quarterback out of Fresno State, Derek Carr. I like this guy. And the reason I do, he tends to stay on an even keel. Doesn't let too much ruffle him. He will manage the game the way it needs to be managed, take what the defense gives him, and then he can strike at times. Had a touchdown pass. Yes, he had an interception last week, but he found a way for his team to win. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. <laughs> On first and 10, here's Carr. Then he finds Danny Amendola. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Looking to throw again on second down. Carr. Hollywood Brown, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage. Pressure comes, and down he goes. Trey Hendrickson in there for sack number 85 of his great career, moving him past Hall of Famer Howie Long on the all-time list. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner, Tress Way, on to punt the football. Back deep, Tariq Cohen. This is fielded at the 27. A beautiful fake. That's a 49-yard punt. Eight, though, on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Well, this defense, very strong in that victory from a week ago. And they needed to be because the game was a game we don't see very often anymore. Low scoring, slugging it out in the trenches. One play can make the difference type of a game, and each play took on more importance, and they got it done. Cohen gets it again on second. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Jordan Love ready on first down here. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. On play action, Love to throw. Over the middle complete, it's Peterson. And they pick up a first down, and that came out of the fullback position. But as you and I both know, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a fullback playing in that spot. You know, times have changed, right? The old school fullback doesn't really exist anymore. We're not getting that same player out of college with all the spread offenses, not very many pro style. We actually have a true fullback. We're having to make do in the NFL and put guys in that spot who emulate it but aren't necessarily that position. And he's got about five yards as he's taken down right at the 25. Second down at five. And he fires one that's intercepted. Greedy Williams picks it off. 30, 10, and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, it certainly looked to me like he tapped into the quarterback's thought process there. And what I'm hearing more and more when I go around the league, defenders sitting in on quarterback meetings trying to learn more about how they think so they can be in the right position to be in the right spot as he was there to pick that one off and take it all the way back for a touchdown.
The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And it's good to make it seven to nothing. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Tariq Cohen and the rest of the offense heading back out there. A tough challenge here in this one. We'll see if he can duplicate the numbers on your screen that he put up last week, up over 100 and a touchdown. We were watching tape to prepare for this game. One thing you noted that I totally agree with, great complimentary piece in the last game. You know, they're able to throw it pretty well. He ran it exceptionally, and he hoped to continue that same formula in this game. Complimentary with an E, not an I. That's my English teacher right there. They'll run on second down with Cohen. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Has a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? They should be aware, but it was so hard to yeah, It's not easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. Love now to pass on first down. And this one right back into the hands of Jefferson. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Love looking to throw it. Over the middle, he's got Deshaun Hamilton. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. First down, a run with Cohen. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Coming up on second and seven. Now Love. He's got his all-pro receiver, Michael Thomas. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. He can really smell 800 catches right now because that last one puts him at 799, knocking on the door. shake free there and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard now that was well defended and as a cornerback what you're taught when you see a wide receiver screen either you get underneath the play before the blocking forms or you're gonna have to fight your way through it by getting through some blocking that was a really nice play there maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive here second and 11. here's Camara off the draw and he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. And this pass broken up. The contact well-timed there, and now fourth down. 
My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit here. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So they do get three points, but that's now three drives with only the three points, not a ratio that's going to win you many ball games. Not at all, Brandon. And think about it this way. We all know payoff is the key, right? And wouldn't we love to have the concession on every T-shirt that's been printed in football that says finish on it? Because that's the mantra everywhere. Got to be able to finish drives, put points on the board. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Here's a second and five now from the 25. To throw his car. He gets it to his running back, Rashad Penny. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Throwing again on second down. Carr, only three yards on the catch. It's third down. To throw its car. Swings it out to the flat for Freeman. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. They'll give him four yards there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Now stopped him in his tracks. 35 yards that time on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Play action this time with Love. Blitz coming and down he goes. Levante David making his presence felt in the backfield. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest ones, maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. To try again after the sack. Love. It's Kelsey on the ground. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Kamara, out of the pistol. 
And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now a shotgun handoff to Cohen. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. This offense so far on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. Working out of the gun, Love. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara, and just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Love. Off to Thomas on the left side. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Nice idea, nice concept there. Line him up on the left side of the formation, let him sneak his way across, coming back underneath, put it in his hands, let him get a few more yards after the catch, too. Great way to utilize a tight end on the drag route. First down, going to the air with Love. But quickly to Kelsey. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. The sack recorded, it's a loss of five, and now it's second down. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles, and that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Love so complete there to Thomas. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And it's caught. Touchdown. Deshaun Hamilton, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Egyptians have moved out in front. That could be an important swing right there, a touchdown in the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. It's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So that drive spans 13 plays. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. 
This taken in at the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. This offense back to work now late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get in the field goal range. Car now on first down. Over the middle, it's Amendola. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. He goes underneath to Freeman. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. To throw again on second down. Carr. Under pressure and down he goes. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. Here's Tressway now as he'll come on to kick this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Here comes Cohen. It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return, and control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. down, love to pass. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. It'll be a gain of three on what should be the final play of this first half. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. And welcome in everybody to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Time for a look around the NFL here in week three of the new year. We'll get started in the NFC. Minnesota hosting San Francisco at U.S. Bank Stadium. And that one tied 14 apiece in the second quarter. <laughs> Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Gotten and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. On the return, Andy Isabella. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And this offense set to go now to begin the third quarter. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Here's Carr. Incomplete. 
but the passing windows are just not there. That's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big play that time on the catch and run. CD, you remember John Elway? Oh, boy. <laughs> how, how could I forget John Elway and how many NFL defenses? So glad he's no longer throwing the ball around. Well, Elway threw for 51,475 yards, and we just saw him go past that number for career passing yards. That means his career now as memorable as John Elway's, and that's a pretty significant accomplishment. Man, what an accomplishment it is. Congratulations. And he's still doing it. Still doing it at a high level. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. to throw on third and one and that's going to be incomplete the coverage too good there the contact popped the ball free and it's fourth down he's had trouble finding open receivers all game cd and that's because really there hasn't been many this defense has been all over them yeah they're one of the better defenses in the league and every time i talk to someone around the nfl they all say the exact same thing they're so fundamentally sound it's hard to execute against them They'll go for it. It's Carr. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. They go back to the ground now with Penny. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. Five yards remain on second down. Carr going to throw. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Ah, oh, they're throwing it on first down, but no one was open, so he gets flushed out of the pocket, runs towards the sidelines, gets out of bounds with a good gain and a first down. Penny is into the end zone. Touchdown. Hard to argue with that being their best drive of the game so far as they use the running game to get them into the end zone. Couldn't agree more, partner, prior to that drive. They sputtered a little bit, but it looks like they found the formula. I would expect them to go back to that more and more as this game develops. Extra point attempt here still to come. And that makes it 14-10. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's finished off by a Rashad Penny touchdown run. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. 
Jordan Love and his offense ready to get the football back. What can they do now, Charles, to make sure this highlight montage doesn't continue to show more pressure and pressure and pressure? You feel like it always comes back to leverage, don't you? Who is going to win that battle of the offensive and defensive lines? Low man wins, we talk about that, but we think about it in a running game. Well, guess what? The same thing happens when you're trying to pass protect. Are you low? Are you balanced? Are you in a position where the pass rush won't bowl you over on their way back to the quarterback? They've got to reestablish that in order to try and keep their man upright. Because they have been bowled over a lot so far in this one. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Here's a handoff to Cohen running right. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. And this defense going to bring out a couple extra DBs here on third and a yard. Play fake. Here's Love. Rolling to his left. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. To me, this leads to the question, do you admire the way he puts his body out there all the time, or do you think he should protect himself a little bit more? <laughs> well, he's been on the ground several times with all those sacks that he's taken. So, I don't know, I kind of admire him not sliding down there, don't you? I'm with you on that one. The meter definitely leans towards admiration. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing, Love. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. He'll buy some time, and he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. Demario Davis coming in for the sack that time. Well, on that one, they, they go with a play fake CD, but I don't think anybody really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you've got to make sure that everyone is doing their part. You actually have to sell this play. You've got to sell the run action. Otherwise, why do you stop at the running back? You just run straight for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Now, following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. A give to Cohen. He heads right. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. And they'll send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. Portland's offense now about set to take over, and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And the pass complete, this one to Danny Amendola. Seven yards to pick up there. Looking to throw again on second down. Carr. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route, and they just executed that one pretty well. That one whistled against a big right tackle. You'd think being able to fire out and block, it'd be a lot easier to not commit a holding penalty, but it's tough to keep those guys right in front, isn't it? They'll run the jet sweep with Brown. 
He'll be dropped shy of the 40 despite an excellent display of footwork. Behind the chain, second and 13. A handoff to Penny. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The offense on third down, just one for five to this point. This will be third and six. Shotgun now for Carr. And that will be incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. On the return is Cohen. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. On first and ten, Love. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Love from the gun. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll get five out of the scramble and hit second down. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. From the 39, Love sliding out of the pocket. Room to run past midfield. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and ten. Here's Love. Swings this out here for Cohen. That catch good for only a couple. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Now a man open down the middle of the field and inside the 20 before he's brought down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. They'll run on first down. It's Cohen. He will push his way down to about the 14. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. To throw now. Here's Love. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with his four-point fourth-quarter lead. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Love now. And he's got his man in stride, complete. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. I'd love to sit down at some point in our offseason 
and talk to these defensive coordinators in the red zone. Tight end is obviously a big threat, yet these guys continue to make plays. Is there any other way to stop them? Apparently not. In the red zone, like you said, that's your guy that got it to him. Supreme confidence in going to a playmaker. Cohen. And he is not going to get through here on try number one. They stop him at the goal line. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Again, it's Cohen. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. That's a nice example of good team defense right there. Ball was snapped at the one-yard line. They knocked him back and caused a loss. But you notice they were trying to find any type of a gap to run through. Wasn't one available. And they stuffed the play right there in the middle of the field. A lot of tired bodies on that field. But this is a big play. Third and goal. Back to throw. Love. And it's caught with a touchdown. Michael Thomas, his second touchdown on the season. And the Egyptians are once again back in front. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. A 10-play drive that time. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Out of his end zone comes Andy Isabella. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Portland's offense now about set to take over. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the gun, it's Carr. We'll drop this one down to Freeman. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Second and five. Working from the gun, it's Carr. And incomplete. And this offense on third down today, they've had their troubles. Just one for six. This will be third and five. Here's Carr to throw. And he's got Amendola on the connection. And he'll be pulled down, and now a late flag will come with it. And that's in the area of a face mask, I think. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. Throwing on first down is Carr. And his throw here is incomplete. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Again, it's Carr. Flushed out right. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. They'll try to run for it with Penny. A great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. That right there, a good sign for a team that's had trouble converting third down so far this year. They're the bottom five in the NFL, but they come through there. Yeah, and I bet if we put our guy Marvin on the case and say, Marvin, tell us where they rank on third and what, right? I bet they're in the top five in the league on third and five, third and six, third and seven or more because that's how you end up not converting. Just too much yardage to pick up on third down. Escaping the pressure right. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 
how many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now they'll throw with Carr. Got a man, it's Brown. A gain of six there on first. Working with his second and four. Now Carr gets it off to Freeman. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's our visitors with the football as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Carr signaling to his guys, let's go, let's go here. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Throwing his car. This is caught, and he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Now the try here for the point after. It's up and good to make it 21-17. So that drive, 12 plays in length. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded just outside the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The situation for him offensively as follows. Down 21 to 17, a minute 13 to play. Their perfect start to the season in jeopardy unless they can score here as they've got it first and 10. Love. Finding Kelsey. A good rally to the football. Keeps him to only a yard and it's second down. Love looking to throw. Flush to his right. And he's able to get out to the 32. Brought down there. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Is caught by Deshaun Hamilton. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Now Love. Kelsey, left side. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Here's Love. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. Down four late. Got to go for it here on fourth down. Desperation time here. Love on fourth down. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. 
He'll take his shot for the end zone. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well have run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Well, Charles, they were close in the end, but they couldn't get that last play, that last little miracle play done. They were within striking distance, but couldn't find a way to score. They definitely had hope. They definitely had opportunity. Just unable to cash in at the end. Not an easy play by any stretch, but they definitely had a chance. So for Portland, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Philly to take on the Eagles. Meanwhile, for the home team here, they suffer defeat for the first time as they drop to 2-1. And, and they'll try to make amends next week as they host the New Orleans Saints. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.